partially frowned by Lord Sax. Of course you can come in. The Chief Rabbi has just arrived here at the London Bayat for Limud. There's a hundred people waiting downstairs to come and hear him give his words of inspiration to B'nai Kiva. And he's recorded a special message for B'nai Kiva UK, which is going to be broadcast on this next episode of BATV Yediot News. So, keep listening. Right, the Chief Rabbi's here. Okay, hold on. And welcome to another exciting edition of B'nai Akiva TV Yediot. This week you'll notice that I'm wearing different clothes. I'm wearing my movement shirt and that is because we are in the height of Shabbat Hayrugun season and a very exciting season it is too. Next week we'll tell you all about that. This week however let's get straight to our first news story. Ravilan Goldman has been travelling the country telling people how what relationship to have with Israel. This week he was in Birmingham and here's some exciting footage of all the messages he had to impart on the students waiting to hear him. Ravilan had some fascinating insights on the role we play in Israel as modern Orthodox Jews. disappears and doesn't exist anymore. And in the context of the state of Israel, obviously, uh, there's things to criticise. There's no question about it. But, at the end of that, we need to remember Israel at a whole is all beautiful, and there's no, no fault in Israel at the whole. When you see the greater picture, then you have the right appreciation. It really is very important work that Rav Ilan is undertaking, and uh, it's wonderful to see him doing so. Now, we get on to a, a special feature for this week, and we're going to join our reporter in the field, Liat Cohen, as she asks people, what makes B'nai Kiva special to you? What do you love about B'nai Kiva? Michael Rainsbury. <laughs> Hi, my name is Josh Rifkin from Sheva Hug for Art, and VA has kind of changed me. Well, it has changed me. It's um, brought everyone so much closer together, apart from just, apart from the basic ideology that it imposes on one, such as leaving Israel and the state of Israel, the Jewish state of Israel. It's also brought a lot of people so much closer together. It's given, it's given everyone confidence that they didn't know they had um, in themselves. VA is still a fantastic movement and does a lot of good for the world. Josh Gartner, what do you love about B'nai Akiva? B.A. blood drive, obviously. B'nai Akiva, to me, is, has been the movement which has provided me with um, a lifelong passion for Torah, a lifelong passion for religious Zionism, and has basically been the social force in my life which has sort of made me into the person that I am today. Um, well, B'nai Akiva has been a massive part of my life ever since I was seven or eight years old. And it makes life a lot more fun to live. B'nai Akiva really does have a significant effect on the lives of many people across the country. One of those people is our very own Chief Rabbi, Lord Jonathan Sachs. And here he has a special message for all of us in B'nai Akiva. Friends, uh, it's great to be speaking to you, uh, members of B'nai Akiva. Uh, I don't know whether this is good news or bad news, but I learned to become a Jewish leader through being a Bulgar of B'nai Akiva. It was my inspiration when I was young. It sustained me ever since. So go out there and lead. And what is it to lead the B'nai Akiva way? Number one, teach people to love Am Yisrael. Number two, teach them to love Eretz Yisrael. Number three, teach them to love Torah Yisrael. And number four, teach them to lead. I wish you every success. B'nai Akiva has been an inspiration to me for the whole of my adult life. I know it will be for you. Bahatzlacha. Shalom Aleinu Val Kol Yisrael Val Kol Yisrael Ve'imaru Ve'imaru Amen O Hussein Shalom Bim Roma Yaseh Shalom 
It really was a huge honor for Bnei Akiva to host the Chief Rabbi at Limud, and we really do thank him for his inspiring words. I'm Adam Waters, this has been Bnei Akiva TV, Yediot, join us again soon.